Hey, ho, oh, hey, how you doing? Just here, we just got another shipment of, uh, of uh, Esker buck saws, foldable Esker Canadian product, buck saws, and some more axes, and I was just kind of putting stuff away. And uh, really kind of wanted to get into a couple of things that, listen that guy. <laughs> That's a common raven, and it's a, it's a cool kind of time of year. Here, we better settle, settle this fellow down. Um, even though we're uh, almost mid-January, today's uh, 14th of January, 2020. How's your vision of the year? For... Is it 2020? <laughs> Dad joke, they call that. Uh, yeah, no, it's just that we're middle of January and we're starting to talk about the breeding season, the mating season uh, in the bird world. And people often thought, well, what are you talking about? It's the middle of January. Um, you know, we haven't really had a lot of winter really here in eastern Ontario, but it's kind of coming that way. Um, the uh, the the early birds that are, are involved in the, the mating season early, um, and I really wanted to talk about them was the common raven. I love the raven. It's a it's a beautiful bird, of course. Um, it's quite large, uh, big as a hawk, as a kind of thing. Some of the distinct things about it is the tail shape there uh, little extra fingers on the end of the of the wings um, and of course the beak and uh, head and everything is a, a little bit different as well uh, the bigger beak and uh, and things very intelligent bird um, you know the, there's so much being said these days about crows and ravens in particular and that they're 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 so intelligent um, and they're <coughs> Everybody knows that. Um, uh, sorry, got carried away there. Everybody knows that. Uh, you know, I've heard that about the intelligence. But, but really what I wanted to get into was the fact that it's uh, coming on to the mating season for a lot of these early birds. And the unique part about the raven, uh, there's a variety of species of ravens, of course, and all ours is the common raven. But the unique part of that is that right now, and I've noticed this actually, and the reason I kind of wanted to bring it up is uh, out at, uh, when I've been out and about and doing my thing, I've noticed the ravens starting their courting process. Um, and it's a, the aerial display that they put on. And that's really what I wanted to talk about was so that when you're out and you're, even if you're, you know, in your car or somebody else is driving, take a look because the ravens are really starting to get together um, and, and starting their aerial process that they dip and dive and swoop and, and go back and forth with one another. Uh, you know, and one will go this way and the other will turn up. And I have a couple of, uh, of, uh, cast iron crows here but they'll they'll swoop at one another like this and and dive and turn and swoop and dive and turn and that's the courting process that they're getting involved with uh, at this time of year now this may go on this is the other unique thing there's a variety of different things that they'll do they'll feed one another they'll actually uh, preen or clean, clean one another and, and clean one another's feathers. If you see them sitting in a tree side by side, they'll actually uh, uh, cleanse one another. And uh, it, it goes on for a month or so at least. And that they'll, they'll start the nesting process into the middle to late of February um, and before they get on the nest. Crows are the same thing. Uh, barred owls are the same thing. They'll start to nest and as you remember from earlier videos I talked about the barred owl and how it's important you get the boxes up in the you know like November December and stuff because as we get into this time of year is when they start with uh, with their mating process and it's interesting in the terms of and what is some of the things that's affecting uh, birds and, and historical ranges uh, is climate change migration as we talked about uh, last week and stuff is changing because birds aren't going as far away in migration but with the raven uh, as in the historical times, as you went further north and further north and further north and get up into the boreal forest and further north and further north and further north, their mating habits and courtship habits would start later. So the further south you went, it would start earlier. The further north you went, it would start a little later. Makes sense when you think about it in terms of the cold weather and, and, and that type of thing, but it's a kind of unique 
process that they would be involved in in that from that point of view. Hey, look at there, see that bike behind me? Look at that beauty. That's an original uh, Italian frame from Italy from 1970. All original paint. It's been upgraded with all the bearings and, and what have you, fenders, wheels, seat, saddle, handlebars. Sorry, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> but I really just wanted to get in and uh, and you know I'm, I'm super excited about some of our uh, bushcraft stuff that we're getting involved in uh, This is a Canadian. This is black walnut. We also have them bird's eye maple Portugal steel tempered blade. They're beautiful But the ravens the owls and the crows are really starting to get in I really want you to just kind of just kind of be a little more aware of the of the of the mating process and the courtship process that the ravens are undertaking and start to watch for this aerial flying that they do it's quite magnificent and stuff i actually tried to get some some footage of it uh, i don't have as justine would say i don't have a big enough lens for my camera um and so i really couldn't have it so it would make any, any sense but if you kind of look up uh that the, there's a whole bunch of of documentation on that and their call, their croaking is quite unique. So they'll, they have a variety of different calls that they'll be involved in as they're sitting on the limbs and chasing one another and stuff. Hear that one? What kind of music does a raven listen to? Rock! Rock! <laughs> anyway, get out there and check out those birds and see what, you, the, what they're all up to. And uh, get out and enjoy some nature. And... Uh, and get prepared because even though we're mid-January, the transition time is starting. Have yourself a great day.